All right, what is going on my broskies? My name is Totski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video. And today we have some awesome news on Japan, huge data download, a bunch of new characters to talk about. So we're just going to jump into it because uh, we're, we're, this is going to take a while to talk about these new characters. Um, mainly in this video, we're going to talk about the brand new Super Evolution coming to the game and the brand new Sugo Fest exclusive, which is right here, Toki, Hiori, and Momonosuke. And that is the fact that all three of them are considered the same unit which in my opinion is such a good thing because it means that you can use some support characters that momo gets access to and ones that hiori gets access to this is overall a fantastic buff for this character so i'm very very much looking forward to that um and obviously you can see the potential abilities here you got fear pinch heal and recovery bind um so when you see characters with pinch heal and recovery bind together normally it means they're a healer type of character and you'll see in, in what sense that this character is able to heal there's also a brand new kinemon here um unfortunately on the translation that about to have a look at kinemon's information is not completely translated yet uh and in terms of the information that we are looking at uh shout out to koala san over on the one piece treasure cruise subreddit discord for providing this information but the first thing is first this is the character that we're going to be talking about six plus sabo now this is by far the best super evolution that we've had in 2021. I think they've probably taken some feedback in on our opinions of 6 Plus, and they've definitely added things to this character that makes this character so much better than his current counterpart. Um, current Sabo is just a character that just never sees play. Sometimes, maybe, we'll see play as a sub for his orb boost and chain locking mechanics. But now what they've done, they've kind of changed him up, and he's a lot better than what he previously was. So let's go ahead and start breaking him down. So Sabo, let's zoom in real quick. Once again, shout out to Koala-san. So Sabo's Captain Effect will boost Fighter, Shooter, and Free Spirit characters' attack by 4, and then give them a 1.3 health boost. Increase the attack boost when you've killed at least one enemy in the previous turn. So after you kill 5 enemies, he goes to a 5 times boost. So every time you kill something, it goes from a 4 times to a 4.2, 4.4, obviously up to 5 times. And then it says fighter and shooter free spirit characters have an increased chance of matching slots. Now, what is one thing about this captain effect that you realize is not here anymore? Now, I've got the database open right here. Shout out to Solaris and the database team. But in his previous form, let's just have a look at it, right? Boost chance of matching slots for those three types of characters. Boost your attack by three, 1.25 health. Increase the attack boost every time you kill something, um, stacks up to a 4.25. Now, it does say here that if you don't defeat an enemy, you lose all of the attack buffs. Now, that isn't stated here, so if that if you don't lose the attack buffs, that's absolutely broken, but I'm pretty sure it, you still will lose the, the attack buffs. Either way, I'm pretty sure you will lose them. That, that would be kind of crazy if you just maintain five times attack boost for the rest of the run. Like, that's absolutely absurd. But either way, even if you do, like, lose it, if you don't kill something, the fact is, he's still a four times captain that can go up to a five times captain. He has a lot of health, increases the chance of matching slots. This is a very good captain effect. Partners up very, very well with a lot of other characters in the game. Namingly versus Ace, which we will talk about in a little bit, because looking at his special ability, 12 turn cooldown, for two turns, inflict the enemy with burn. So it ignites the enemies upon activating the special. 100 times enemy attack is damage at the end of the turn. Exact same mechanic as versus Ace and versus Akainu. Then for two turns, 1.0 to the chain and boost the attack of Fighter, Shooter, and Free Spirit uh, for 2.25. So obviously, with this all in tow, this is a perfect counterpart to versus Ace, as we all know and love. So with his special ability previously, it was a three times chain lock and an orb boost to Fighter, Shooter, and Free Spirit. So we know that versus Ace is basically a buffed version of this. So what they've done now is they've taken whatever versus Ace did and they've made him a complete counterpart to the unit so no longer is he a chain locker he is now a chain booster which obviously partners well with versus ace giving you chain boundary effect and then his special ability is an attack boost instead of an orb boost which is what versus ace does so with versus ace and six plus sabo together you're able to get some crazy damage output for shooter and free spirit characters alike it's so insane how good this character actually is and i don't think it's that far of a stretch to say this is the best six plus of 2021 
So let's have a look at his Pirate Rumble stuff. So his Pirate Rumble stuff, let's go to his Pirate Festival stats. Um, so 25 CT for his special. Uh, and it says, uh, two times attack to enemies in a front-facing large range. Level 7 attack up to Fighter, Shooter, and Free Spirit for 20 seconds. It's just okay. I don't really know how much play this guy's gonna, gonna see. Because mainly in Pirate Rumble, like, class teams aren't super common. Mainly it is color-based teams. They seem to have the best synergy right now. So I don't really know how much play this is going to see. And his passive is level 7 attack to Fighter, to free spirit and for the first 40 seconds you get level 5 attack to himself so he's level 12 attack as soon as as soon as he enters which is like pretty good but again i don't really see this guy seeing too much play in a pirate festival but i mean it goes without saying yeah this this is a good a very very good super evolution i'm super pumped for whenever this comes out to global this guy is very strong so uh kudos to bandai for finally making a six plus what is it, it's exactly what we wanted we wanted a character that got a such a powerful buff that actually made them usable in 2021 and they've finally done it uh this character is insane right but now let's get on to the other good stuff right let's get on to the brand new uh legend character that's going to be arriving which is going to be hiori momonosuke and toki so this character obviously is a super type it's a super strength slash a free spirit no real big surprises there let's have a look at the artwork so here is the uh, evolved artwork of course and this is the unevolved artwork which is actually kind of neat obviously going to hug odin my man odin chaden so that's pretty cool um let's have a look at what this character actually does right so the captain effect minus one cooldown at the start of the quest always love to see that rainbow 4.75 times attack <laughs> that's great just all characters get a get a 4.75 attack 1.2 times health to the crew crew will treat strength slots as beneficial and heal one times this character's recovery for each perfect that you hit at the end of the turn like it's a very plain boring captain effect and many people were kind of disappointed at it i mean myself included i mean it's it's a pretty boring captain effect but just look at the stats right look, look at what we've got here right minus one cooldown 4.75 rainbow and a health boost one colored orb is beneficial and you get healing for every perfect like on paper this is a fantastic captain effect honestly one of the better captain effects in the game if you just look at it alone but of course it is boring we were expecting a little bit more from toki but that's where her special comes in and her special is very very interesting okay so special is a 12 turn max cooldown very interesting effect select two characters that will have certain debuff immunity so uh, I believe it's like basically anything, right? So bind, despair, paralysis, maybe blow away as well. We'll have to wait and see. But basically they just resist any like debuffs that will inflict to two specific characters for two turns. So this is interesting because it means that you can use it technically on a stage prior and because it lasts for two turns it means that this will last throughout the enemy's preemptive so you basically if you know that the enemy is going to do something bad to your captains you can use toki special select your two captains and then they're basically immune from all status ailments when you move into the next room so if you get inflicted with like you know 20 turns of despair or something or like you know a huge special reverse or a special bind or something this special can counter that which is pretty cool that is an interesting effect no other character in the game just has an outright effect to just stop any debuffs from happening on like two characters that just resist everything that's pretty unique and then it also says after two turns have passed so it applies a clock buff for two turns upon activating for one turn boost the attack and the orbs of those two selected characters by 3.5 so it is interesting that it's it's kind of it's kind of similar in a way to like stampy luffy in a way where it's like you know one particular unit gets a huge buff however this is for two characters which is kind of cool because it can mean that you know you can make both of your captains hit ridiculously hard or if you're trying to hybrid up and beat certain content you can have toki on your team and make sure that your you know your hybrid captain the captain that you actually want to use uh is like super buffed up so you can find some synergy for it and obviously because this character is a strength unit and is a slasher free spirit it has perfect synergy with odin um so that's pretty dope to use and of course um because this character is considered hiori and uh, Momonosuke that does proc the super type of Odin as well and because remember with Odin's super type he gives himself a guaranteed block uh, guaranteed block orb a guaranteed Wano slot that goes through block orbs and he gives himself 1000 base attack so because Odin is so self-centered a special like this kind of makes sense um, it would be nice if we had some sort of way to make Odin super effective against all types as well you could do some really nasty things with that but uh just in general I don't know how much play this character is going to see but 
it's interesting nonetheless. I don't think this is a character that I would go absolutely ham for and go to the guaranteed spot for. Um, because remember, this is debuting on a Kazuna Clash Sugo Fest, so it's likely going to be a Kazuna you know, only legend. So with that in mind, I don't really know how deep people would go for a character like this, but on paper, the fact that this character is so unique definitely is going to breed more people to try and pull for this character, I think. Um, I don't think this character is the most broken unit in the game, but there's definitely some cool um, applications that you could find for this uh, for this Toki special ability. But let's have a look at some other things, right? Her super type condition is activated when a crew member triggers a special. It's a very, very easy condition to activate. Not a problem at all. But it says the super type special gives minus five cooldown to themselves. So that's pretty nice. Uh, and then it also says for one turn, boost the color affinity of your strength units by two times. And then your strength units will get super strength typing. So this is interesting because with her special and her captain ability essentially being rainbow, um, it is a bit weird that the color affinity is two times color affinity only to strength units. So you are kind of put in a bit of a situation there, but like another way you can look at it is that it's minus five cooldown for themselves, which can kind of speed farm content. If you can just preemptively use this special ability to, to get, um, you know, like a boost on like, let, let's say like a, like a Colosseum, for example, if you're able to speed farm content with this, you can just go ahead, like even like Zora Jura, he starts the quest with his special max. He uses special to wave clear content, use the two uh, super types to make the specials go down faster. And then you could like use it on stage two, carry it into stage three, or use it on stage three, carry it into stage four, and then use another token special carried into stage five you can get like some crazy shenanigans going on in terms of speed farming but i don't know this is a this is just a weird uh weird kit i'm not saying it's bad i don't think it's a bad kit it's just very unique and it's just something we've never seen before so it's a little hard to say and a little hard to com contemplate uh how good this is going to be um because you're 3.5 boost is no joke right we already know roger with his three times attack boost when you launch that we already know how much damage that provides and this is giving two units 3.5 times attack and 3.5 times orb boost and you can have a super type that can create you color affinity as well um, with this unit alone you're able to do some pretty serious damage output but of course the color affinity doesn't really help too much unless if you're versing a dex character specifically or you have like bullet as your friend captain to make him super effective against all types i mean bullet bullet stay winning out here boys uh, he just consistently gets like more and more support as time goes on which is pretty crazy to think about obviously normal attacks only is still a problem but still nonetheless that character is super effective against all types with this type of buff and uh the fact you get color affinity too you can just some pretty nasty things with that either way uh let's have a look at her sailor effects as well reduce five turns of special seal on themselves and counter two turns of special reverse on themselves um that's weird i wish it was just five turns of both it's weird like why would you have them on the same sailor effect five turns and then two turns for the other honestly it should just just should have just been like like five to ten turns for, for both honestly that's just weird uh, limit break effect, uh, fear resistance obviously makes sense for this character, um, so they're resisted by 5, they've got pinch healing, which is the same as most characters, and recovery bind by 10, pretty stock standard stuff. Um, support effect, okay, let's have a look. Once per adventure, when the supporter character triggers a special, changes the orb of the supported character into a strength slot, and for one turn, locks the orb of the supported character for one turn, and then boosts the orbs and attack of the supported character by 1.5 times. So this is actually pretty similar to Legend Cavendish. Um, Legend Cavendish actually has like pretty much like nearly like a one for one support for what this actually does. I don't know why I typed in that. Cavendish, um, his support is pretty much the same, right? Any quick unit, when they use a special, boost the attack uh, and the orbs of, of that unit by 1.5 and they give they get a quick orb as well. Yeah, it's, it's exactly a Cavendish support, but it works for Odin, Kinemon, uh, yeah, basically all of the all of the uh the scabbards plus odin okay i mean that's not what i was expecting i don't think odin kind of needed a support like this um i did say this before but you know i, I do think that odin needs more utility support and that's what i was really hoping toki was able to do but unfortunately that's not the case it would have been nice if uh, it had some like type of effect like her special to just resist debuffs like from the enemy that would be kind of crazy uh because that would make odin just nutty with this support but i mean this is still fine this is not terrible you can still use it for sure but you 
you have to launch the special in order to get it. So you're not getting the orb boost part of his uh, of the of the Toki support. You're only really getting the attack boost, but that's still good. You can able to use Odin's um, special. You can use a super type. He gets a stat boost, get a guaranteed one or slot, and uh, he just does a lot of damage, right? So that is a, a type of thing you can potentially do. I just wish the support was more utility based rather than uh, damage based. But let's have a look at the Pirate Rumble stuff. So let's load up the Pirate Festival stats. What do we got here? 27 CT. A little bit on the high side, so I hope it's good. Uh, strength allies, uh, reduce special seal by 20 seconds, reduce movement seal by 20 seconds, reduces CT by 15%, that's pretty good. And level 10 attack up to one ally with the highest attack for 20 seconds and heal two times recovery. Ah, oh, dude, ugh. Strength teams did not need this type of special. Unfortunately, I don't think it's that good. Just, I don't think debuff immunity in Pirate Rumble is super useful because you have to make sure the enemy is able to inflict it with you in the first place. It's just super niche. Not a big fan of it. The CT reduction is good, um, and the attack buff is fine. I wish it was, like, to just all strength characters. It this character would have been a lot better for it. Um, but the passive is strength allies, level 5 attack, level 5 speed, level 3 defense, and then dex enemies get level 5 defense down. But that's a great passive. Such a good passive, but it's so unfortunate that the special is, like, just kind of average. Not a big fan of that one. Immune to special seal and movement seal. I mean, that's cool, but... You know, it's just unfortunate. I just wish this character did a little bit more uh, for, for Pirate Rumble. But uh, honestly, just the unique effect that this character provides is, is what the big draw factor to this character is. And we're going to have to wait and see how people are able to utilize it in content. But on paper, a pretty interesting Sugo Fest exclusive character nonetheless. And then there is a brand new Jack character that is going to be arriving as the brand new um, Kizuna Clash character. Um, this is a Pirate Alliance Kizuna Clash. So this character actually super evolves. So you've got Jack in the regular form. And we'll, we'll, we'll talk about his five star plus because that's the unit that most people end up going to be using so strength driven and powerhouse 3.5 attack 20 percent damage reduction 1.5 health that's a pretty good free to play captain effect um what is the cooldown 12 turn cooldown and 100 times attack and strength damage to all enemies six turns of paralysis six turns of attack down and for three turns boost the color affinity of strength driven and powerhouse by two times wow dude i assume that this is the same yeah okay it's basically the same thing but it's worse okay so yeah the five star plus version is very very good that is a very good captain and special combination uh driven and powerhouse street strength is beneficial that's really good because you can attach a kind of support to him and if you have a driven powerhouse team they just get a full board of matching slots that's really really good and then his oh yeah what's his limit break okay pretty stock standard stuff reduce it by five turns for slot bind support his stats uh, 20% health cut to enemies in a large range, and then do 1.7 times character's attack. What is his cooldown? 28. A little bit on the high end, but it's a pretty decent special. Level 5 attack, level 2 defense up. Not terrible. You know what? This Jack unit is actually not that bad. It's actually a pretty good unit. I like his special. His special is really, really good. So not a bad unit. And then the last unit to talk about is the brand new Kizuna Rare Recruit Kinemon. Um, I love the artwork, by the way, obviously with him on the ship when they found out that Kanjiro was the traitor. Uh, Captain effect is bad. Special on a 12 turn cooldown. 15% health cut to one enemy. Reduces 5 turns of paralysis. 5 turns of rainbow shield and threshold that's good block and badly matching slots into matching and for one turn you get a 0.9 chain boost that's still really good too i mean this is a pretty decent special ability like no, nothing about it seems bad to me he does damage as well he is a strength free spirit slasher so once again you could potentially put a kind of support on him if you wanted to he's got slot bind support character support character does 1.5 times damage to kanjiro that's pretty fitting and he does stats as well okay that's cool all right all right i, I like what they're trying to do here but obviously the big winners here definitely toki and the new Sabo. So thank you so much for watching this video today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one and uh, leave your thoughts and opinions about Toki, Sabo, Jack, and Kinemon down below in the comment section. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. And if you guys did, make sure to leave a like. And if you want to stay up to date with all the content that I post, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. But on that, guys, I'll see you guys within the next video.